Hi all, in this video we are going to introduce how to use Burp to capture all the traffic on your Chrome. So at first we need to install the Chrome app <laughs> and okay, install the Burp. I have already installed the Burp. So now I open the Burp now. Next, start. And secondly, we need to install the uh, Chrome plugin Switchy Omega. What you need to do is just search the switch Omega and the first link and install it. I have already installed it. After install the thing, you it will be like this. You can press the button here and options. We will enter the configuration of the switch Omega, which is the third step. The switch Omega allows us to control the proxy of the system in Chrome, which allows us to switch a uh, different proxy to uh, of the of the browser. So now we uh, going to set up the switch Omega here. Just press the button New Profile and create a new profile named Burp. So we uh, press HTTP protocol here and we input the server and port number. The server and import number will be shown like in the verb here. It's 127.0.0.1 and the port number is 8080. Just put it here. And we click the apply changes here and all the configuration is done so we can click the button here switch omega here and we can see we have already create a bug con configuration which allows to us to uh, change our system proxy to to this address so the request will send to this proxy address at first and the proxy address the proxy server will send our request to the server. Okay, so watch. after this step, we need to install the CA. Why we need to install the CA? Because if we switch to the verb and try to uh, try to go some website, it will says that your connection is not private because we are going to. Uh, HTTPS and, and it will says that the client failed to negotiate a TLS connection here so that's why we need to install a CA to, in order to install the CA we need to uh, go to this website it just exactly the same of the uh, proxy server so we click the button here, CA certificate and it will download a file we just left clicking and open it install the certificate, certificate for current user and this step is very important we need to install the certificate in this in the trusted root certification authorities Make sure you have select this certificate. Uh, how should I say that? To make sure you have done this step. And next, finish. Yes. Okay. It says we have installed this successful. So now we can have a double check of it. Press the setting of Chrome and security. Let's see. the managed certificate let's see if we have successfully installed the certificate of post weaker post weaker is here okay we have already installed the CA and now we all we need to do is to restart the Chrome 
and make sure your proxy is turned on here and we just browse and random web page you can see the error me message is gone but we start at waiting for google.com this is because we have opened the intercept when the intercept is on the request will start in the burp when uh, it will forward to the server when you allow to do so so what I need to do is to turn off the intercept and you can see the web page was loaded and all the traffic is will show in the HTTP history and now we can just have a easy check to browse a random web page let's see okay let's see YouTube we can see okay so that's the request we have sent to the YouTube and the response here so that's how we use the burp to capture all the traffic on our Chrome and when we don't need to the burp anymore we just easily close it and you may find your Chrome will not working there's no internet that is because you haven't changed your uh, proxy you just click the switch Omega and change it back to direct and that's the way how you close the verb and switch your proxy to the normal one okay that's all of the content that, that and now you know how to use the verb to capture all the traffic on your Chrome thanks for watching